Exploring Office 365, Part 2. Okay, now that I've finished my PowerPoint, I'd like to figure out where it's saved. So let's go ahead and save it. Notice what I have here as options. Save as, save a copy online, rename the file, download a copy, download as a D, I'm sorry, ODP file. Uh, let's save this. By the way, if you notice that it already um, enter the name, the presentation, replace the existing file, so we're going to call this exploring office. 365 and I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now fabulous. Now it's saved. Where did it save my presentation? Okay, let's go back and let's look at the nine little boxes up here, which gets me as a shortcut back to my home screen. Everything you save online in Office 365 is automatically saved in Microsoft's OneDrive. Microsoft's OneDrive is comparable to Apple's iCloud or Google's Google Drive. So if I'm going to take a look and see what's there, suddenly now you're going to see there is my presentation. The first one that I do, by the way, when I save it, it auto saves for me, so that's a nice thing. And you're going to see that I also um, renamed it and there it is as well. So if I go ahead and click on presentation 2, ba -da -da -da, there it is. And I can edit my presentation. Now check this out. I may edit the presentation in two ways. I can edit the presentation in PowerPoint. That's opening it up if I have PowerPoint on my computer in the full program, which would allow me, instead of those a little bit of animations and the little bit of transitions. It would give me all of the transitions, animations, and everything else that's in full PowerPoint. However, I don't have to do that because I can also make quick changes right there in my browser online. And so I can edit it online. You're also going to see that I can start my slideshow straight from here. So I could click on Start the Slideshow and it would play. Again, not needing to have PowerPoint on the computer. I can just do it from the web. I also still have the ability to share this with other people if I want them to work and edit on it as well. And that will, by the way, when you click on that, automatically loads anybody and everybody in our WCPS Outlook system. So if I truly wanted to share this with uh, John and French, I could just type in and find her. Now John has the ability to edit as soon as I click the word share.